First of all, I think that there is a huge problem with the lack of genetic diversity. Um, GMOs is allowing a very small handful of companies to have complete control of our seed uh, supply for the whole, for the world. And we've now, in America, they have control of corn, of soybeans, of cotton, of sugar beets. Um, they just introduced alfalfa, but at least uh, canola. Those five, at least, is 80 to 90 percent control by GMOs. It means that they have to use their chemicals then to farm, so the farmers are locked into a system. You still have the aggressive tactics used by Monsanto and Syngenta around the world to try to make farmers afraid of what will happen if they uh, reuse the seed and what will happen if they um, don't adopt genetic technologies. And I think this is completely unacceptable. The essential thing is to stimulate biodiversity and to stimulate the ability of farmers to breed and exchange their own seeds to have seeds which are appropriate for their particular area and to use those seeds in a sustainable way. GMO uh, crops have really increased the use of herbicide and pesticides across the nation and around the world. And we're not interested in seeing that type of agriculture because we're really concerned with the concept and the idea that Healthy soil produces healthy food, which really equals healthy people, and that's our ultimate goal. To the mothers, this is the best way to stop them. If we can warn the mothers about feeding their children food that has GMOs in it, if they want their children to be a guinea pig for an unproven um, new source of food, well then they can go ahead. Very few mothers will want to participate in that experiment.